Welcome to day six of Hallmark Christmas Movie Bingo. I'm surprised I've made it past day one, but here we are. For the rough concept, watch day one's video, although I do keep tweaking the squares just a little bit. Starting day six is a Biltmore Christmas from this year. The title gives us a square along with the movie being 84 minutes long. Lucy is our female lead working her Hollywood job. I recognize her from a terrible Bring It On sequel and One Tree Hill. She accidentally time travels back 80 years and falls in love with her white and heterosexual counterpart, Jack. She tries to tell him that he's going to die, but doesn't, and then goes back to the future. She probably could have communicated that, huh? He quits his career and his entire life, fakes his death, and goes to the present to be with her. He was already a huge actor, though. Wouldn't people now recognize him, too? Regardless, I did really enjoy this one, but it did not give us a bingo. Second, we have Haul Out the Holiday Lit Up, which I just died saying the title. This is a sequel to last year's Haul Out the Holly, so we already know we have our Mean Girls alum and that the main couple is white and heterosexual. He has his big city job as an architect, but all we really see him do here is police the HOA. Technically, he still gets two squares, though. New neighbors come and suggest a contest to find the goat, and Emily actually baas at them when they say that, and I had to rewind and watch it again and again. <coughs> the movie ends with Jared proposing to her, and right after she says yes, it starts snowing on Christmas. The movie ends at 84 minutes, and the poster has them in red and green, but we have no bingo. Next up is Holiday Road from this year. I love the concept of this, but one character ruined the whole thing for me. A group of people who are trying to get to Denver for Christmas all meet when their flight is delayed and they go in on a van to travel together. If it's too bad outside to be flying, I doubt a van with nine people and all of their luggage is going to do that well on the roads. The character that ruined the movie for me is a TikToker, but at least she's giving us a square. Also on the van is a woman played by the actress who played Jenna on The Vampire Diaries. She and a man in the van fall in love because of course they do, and they are white and heterosexual. I kept tuning out due to my hatred for the TikToker, but I'm pretty sure the Asian father in the van has a big city job that he's trying to force his son into. There's a teenage boy and his adoptive mother on the van who stop to see his birth mom, which I'd count as a long-lost relative. The two moms have weird chemistry, and I thought they were going to make out for a second. Mother of the year. <laughs> you are. They're all traveling over the holidays, so I'm sure some of them were visiting their hometowns. It was hard to pay attention. It ends with everyone showing up at the TikToker's house for Christmas, and it's snowing. The movie poster has a lot of red and green, and the movie is 84 minutes long, but still no bingo. Our fourth movie of the day is Our Christmas Mural from this year, which sits at 84 minutes long. Our third square is already hit as well, with them wearing red and green in the movie poster. Olivia is a single widowed mother living in New York City with her big city job, many spots marked in the intro alone. She goes to visit her hometown for the holidays and meets Will while buying paint, and they get off to a hateful start when he insists on buying all of the color that she wants. They are white and heterosexual and end up falling in love because of course they do. She has a mural shown for Christmas and it snows at the unveiling. She does quit her job to move back home, but her boss had told her that she was basically fired anyway before leaving and she's going to be working in the arts back home, so I'm not going to include it in the quits career one. A lot of squares were marked, but not enough for a bingo. At this point, I've become mildly bored with the new releases, so let's travel back in time to 2013 and watch Pete's Christmas. The movie poster has red and green tops, but the movie breaks the 84-minute trend and extends an extra two minutes. Pete is stuck in a time loop, repeating Christmas Day over and over until he enjoys it. A classic Hallmark favorite. His parents are white and heterosexual. His new neighbor is a widow, and his grandpa is our Waldo from Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, The Hateful Eight, and The Peanut Butter Falcon. We also get our white Christmas square, but no bingo. Our final movie for today is One Christmas Eve from 2014. The title gives us a square, and the movie poster is of a puppy, but the puppy is holding a photo that has people wearing red and green. 
The movie is about one crazy Christmas Eve night. There's snow involved, so we have a white Christmas. They end up in the hospital where the doctor ends up included, giving us our big city job. And another man in the group's daughter surprises him and visits him in their hometown. But no bingo. I'm not sure how many more of these I'll get out this year, but I'm going to go ahead and edit the square names so they make more sense while keeping their meanings, in case I do end up doing more. But anyway, happy holidays!